Hi guys, welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Watford preview. Now, Watford are losing a defender who is going on loan to Doncaster Rovers. You all might know him. His name is Lucas Neal. He's been in the top flight a while, an Australian, but he's going on loan to Doncaster Rovers, which is good for us. Uh, Watford previous results have been as followed. They got free free draw with Blackburn last night, and I think... They uh, waited a three goal lead in that game. Uh, Wigan beat them 2-1. They beat Watford 3-0 and they beat and Doncaster beat them 2-1. Now they've been on a bit of a blip at the back uh, but we are only one point below them at the moment. So whoever wins this could in theory take uh, some very crucial steps for getting mid-table for the uh, end of the season. Now, we are on a run as follows. We beat Brighton 1-0 on Tuesday night with a late injury time winner by Leon Beth. It was a good goal. We got beat by Donny 1-0 on the Saturday. We beat QPR 3-0 and we beat Birmingham 4-1. Apart from that little blip with Doncaster Rovers, and you could probably say Yeovil the game before that, uh, we've been okay on uh, form. We're actually picking up points, but we're not just picking up points, we're picking up three points. Uh, my only concern is that we're probably not scoring enough at times against certain teams, and we felt, felt that a little bit when we played Brighton. So it'll be interesting to see what team he picks and see what happens. Uh, on other good news, uh, following that lad we signed a new deal last Friday, uh, Tuesday Liam Palmer signed a three year extension to his deal. So it's really good to see us getting some of the young players signed up ready to build the squad because I actually do believe we'll be build, building the squad from young players hopefully and start using the youth team a little bit better. But hopefully we'll get three points against Watford.